Ancient Egyptians worshipped many animals for thousands of years. Animals were revered for different reasons. Dogs were valued for their ability to protect and hunt, but cats were thought to be the most special. Egyptians believed cats were magical creatures capable of bringing good luck to the people who housed them. Cats were first domesticated in ancient Egypt. This means that all cats were wild until the Egyptians began sharing their homes with them. This happened over 6,000 years ago. All of our cats today are descended from Egyptian wild cats. The Egyptian Mao is the cat that is native to Egypt. Mao means cat in Egyptian. It's also the sound a cat makes. Mao. Choose three or four cat facts from above to write into your sketchbooks. Cats in Ancient Egypt. They worshipped a cat goddess, a half feline, half woman, they called Bestet. Almost every cat in the world can trace its roots back to 6,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. The penalties for injuring or killing a cat, even by accident, was death. Smuggling cats was also a crime, punishable by death. As a sign of mourning, when a family's cat died, the owners would shave off their eyebrows and continue to mourn until their eyebrows grew back again. Art from ancient Egypt shows statues and paintings of every type of feline. Cats were always pictured or positioned with respect. To honor these treasured pets, wealthy families dressed them in jewels and fed them the treats that were fit for royalty. When a cat died, they were mummified. These are mummified cats and fish from the year 30 BC. We will be using recyclable materials to create our own models of Egyptian cat mummies. to practice doing the next step which is creating a practice sheet with different styles of cat faces and different kinds of Egyptian style designs that you could possibly put on your finished cat mummy model. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your gold piece of paper. We're going to fold it into thirds, but when we fold it into thirds, what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge here and we're going to roll it over so that you have kind of an optical illusion of two pieces of paper that look exactly the same size. Once they're really close, then you press down and crease the fold. That looks pretty good. It's okay if it's not exact. Flip it over and now you match this edge to this edge of the paper. And as you can see, I was just a teeny tiny bit off, but that's okay. No one's going to be measuring it with a ruler. It's just to help you be able to divide this paper into thirds. All right, so the next step is going to be with a pencil. You're going to draw along the invisible line here, and then it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there is another one right here. So we're going to follow those lines, one and two. At the bottom, we're going to put our name 
and our secret coat. You're going to flip your paper over. And you have two more invisible lines. There's one here. And if you look carefully, let's see. There we go. There's one here. So we draw those in. So that will give us six separate places to practice drawing our Egyptian mummy cats. All right, so to start that off, each one of these is going to represent our golden tube. So each one of these needs to have that rounded top. So from corner to corner, draw a letter U. From this corner to this corner, we draw a letter U. From this corner to this corner, we draw a letter U. Flip it over. Do the same to these three. Now don't be afraid to make mistakes. This is the place to make them. There we go. So now I have six mummy cat shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready to go. So let's practice drawing some cat faces. There's all different kinds of ways to do this. It's, it's up to your sense of style. I've taught before how to create different kinds of cats. Um, what I usually teach in first grade is we do the letter V with a downward facing triangle. And then what we do is we put a letter W underneath it, rounded edge letter W. Very nice. We can do candy cane shaped eyes, one here, one here. And then you put letter U's underneath here and here, flattened letter U's. And then you add your cat's pupils. So that's pretty cat-like. You can also add that letter J line underneath like this. And then <clears throat> this is where each cat's going to start to look a little different. What you can do is you can add more details and decorations. You could give that little Egyptian looking wing on the end of the eyes, make it super fancy almost like the eye of Horus. You can add your dots on the cheeks and some whiskers. You can start to make designs in the tops of your cat's head. You could, even if you wanted to, put some kind of decoration or design on its forehead. Remember, the Egyptians love their cats so much that they would put jewelry on them. So maybe your cat has a beautiful necklace on of one of those Egyptian scarabs. A winged one. There we go. And don't forget, you can add different line patterns, different shape patterns, zigzags, all kinds of cool designs for your cat. What you're going to do is out of these six, you're going to take your favorite pieces and parts, and that's what you're going to be transferring onto your dried cat. We're going to use a Sharpie marker. We're going to be transferring parts of your favorite designs onto here. three designs. I think I need to add a little more in this one. These designs need to be handed in with your finished mummy cat. In fact, when you're done, you could roll them up and place them inside your tube when it is time to hand them in. Maybe your cat has the pyramid. Because remember, this is Egypt. 
And maybe there's a pyramid on his belly. All right, so there's three cats. And I'm going to play around and do a few more on the back. So you need to have six cat designs before you're allowed to get your black Sharpie to begin decorating your final golden cat mummy. Thanks for joining me. Have a great night. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel.